Good morning and welcome. And it's a freezing cold, brisk morning. And uh, Christmas is on the way. Yay! I love Christmas. Uh, with all of its challenges. And uh, I want to read some verses here that, that really challenges challenge us. To, to live that devoted Christian life to Christ at this time of the Nativity. And in Matthew chapter 20, verses 20, mm, 25, shall we say, to 27, it says, Jesus is speaking here. You know the rulers of the Gentiles, lord it over them, and those who are great exercise authority over them. Yet it shall not be among you. But whoever desires to be great among you, let him be your servant. And whoever desires to be first among you, let him be your slave. Whoa, what a challenge this is. And yet, what opportunities we have at this Christmas season to be serving others. I mean, if you want to be great in the kingdom of God, then you've got to be a servant, Jesus. You have to serve. And being a servant here, yes, it's where we get our word deacon from and uh, diakonos. Uh, and you, you're a waiter. You're, you're practically serving. You, you're performing a service to others. Um, you, you're administrating. You, you're waiting on tables. You're cooking the Christmas dinner. <laughs> putting the chairs out in the church hall for the Christmas service. You are serving. You know, and if you want to be first, then you've got to be a slave. And again, it's this sense of, of putting others first and being a slave to Christ is saying, Lord, you have all of me. You know, you have, I have no rights. I, I live for you completely, 100%. And, and what I think is we're seeing here with, with the Lord calling us to be his servant and to be his slave, his doulos slave, it is this profound sense of humility and a right attitude. Because you compare it back to verse 25 and what you have, you have the rulers of the Gentiles lording it over others. Those who are exercising authority are just doing it out of a sense of rulership, almost dictatorship, almost just, you will serve me. Whereas in Christianity, we serve others. So this goes a lot deeper than, I. it goes a lot deeper than just our actions, because it goes into our attitude. It goes into our hearts. I mean, when you are asked to, to help wash the Christmas dishes, if you don't have a dishwasher, and what's the attitude? <laughs> what, 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 what rises up? Is it, oh, yes, I'd love to do that. I can serve. Or is it, oh, really? Christmas Day, I've got to wash dishes. You know, what, what's the attitude? What's in the heart? What comes up? And I, I think to overcome... The, the, the bad attitude that sometimes comes up amongst us because uh, we live in such a materialistic society where we want what we want to get, 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 have, 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 rather than give, 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 which was Christ's way. Um, it's changing the heart. So it's putting oneself maybe in an attitude of praise. You know, thank you, Lord. I can do the ditches. Living for your glory washing the ditches, living for your glory, walking my neighbor's dog, living for your glory, serving these children, living for your glory, serving, serving, serving. And as you praise, as you give the Lord the glory, the heart changes. As you, when you've got to go visit somebody you might not want to visit over Christmas, go rejoicing you praise the lord thank you lord i can visit this person let me be a blessing that attitude needs to come in line with christ and as it comes in line with christ and the heart is submitted to christ 
And what better way to submit to Christ than through adoration and through worship. And as we do so, the task then that is set before us, we can do as a servant, as a slave, a doulos for Christ, and not one who is lording over, not full of pride, not full of selfishness, and not full of judgmentalness. Those three things, pride, selfishness, judgmentalness, they get broken up in our heart as, as Christ begins to shine through as we serve in humility. Humility here is the key and the humility in serving the Lord, it brings us such joy. But it's not something we can force upon ourselves either. It is something that flows out of the heart as the spirit of God works in sanctifying us, changing us bit by bit from the inside out. May we have the right attitudes at this Christmas time of serving one another, not lording it over genuinely serving as the Lord Jesus Christ would have us to serve. Let us pray. Holy Father, we thank you for this Christmas season and we can celebrate the birth of Christ. We thank you that Jesus came as a servant to serve. Help us, your disciples, your followers, to be servants of the Most High, to be your slave, to be your servant, Lord Jesus Christ. Forgive us when we've had the wrong attitudes. Forgive us when we've lauded it over others. Father, break into our lives. Cleanse us, we pray. And may the joy of the Lord be our strength as we serve in humility. Amen. Amen. And may you go forth. And, and when you walk in humility, you see strongholds start to come down. You start to see the kingdom of God advance. Lord bless you and the Lord keep you safe.